Hello, 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 everybody. We're back here. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the Bear Ground. I got my bears working again. I got my bears working again. Um, it turns out, shooting all the females at uh, these lakes got my males, like, moving around better. And I, I tried to get all the females over here. So I got the majority of the females from these lakes over to this lake. And why is the why is the music repeating the same song? Oh, it's because I have repeat on. Okay, that explains it. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, I got most of the uh, females up here, and so now most of the males just go to these four lakes here, and occasionally one will show up here. So my bears are like super super efficient now. It's crazy how just shooting a few females that I hadn't shot in ages actually worked. Well, I had already done this in the past, Zachy. I just didn't know that I needed to do it again. Because, like, I had shot them over to this lake purposefully to get them away from the other lakes I like. But ever since I started, like, shooting more bears than I was before, like, I had to redo it, essentially. I had to, like, redo it, essentially. So now my goal is, because these are being more efficient, I'm going to try and turn these to three and below. My two lakes that I grinded for so long, I'm going to try and turn them to threes and below. Because I just feel like it, it took 8,300 to get our first great one from those lakes. They can't be that good. So I'm going to try to manage them down to like threes and twos. We shall see what we're able to do. We shall see. Your bears aren't working? Yeah, they, uh, they, they, they take some time, man. Yeah, these lower two are still the most consistent for me, Zachy. Like, the bears get here faster. However, I get more bears at the top left than I do down here, so... Even though the ones up there are slightly slower for me, it's not by too much, so... I've decided it's worth trying to get these ones shot down. I'm not gonna do any stacking. I'll just hunt these until they pop up as those low levels. Nice, Merle, nice. Also, what did you guys think of today's video? A little bit different than uh, what we've been doing recently. Going back and hunting some rocky elk that I had had stacked on the map for almost a year at this point. Literally almost a year. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy that it's been that long. That those freaking elk have just been sitting on the map. It's insane. Liked it a lot. Glad to hear Jackson. Hey, Jasper. Hey, Techno. How's it going? My day's been good. It's been pretty good so far. Just got finished uh, doing a little bit of working out. So my arms are quite tired. So hopefully I'll be able to make the insane shots I used to make. Pre-pre-workout crow. We'll see if... Uh... Usually I don't work out like right before a stream. So I'm curious how this is going to go. Because my arms are, like, dead. There's the four and the two. I'm going to leave this four until we get, like, the rest of the ones down here to threes and below. Just so I don't have to chase it as well. But this, like, up here, this top left one, it's been insane for me. It's been insane. Hey, Noah, how's it going, dude? Hey, Tops. Level 6, level 5, level 6. Oh, another one. And a 5. Where did you come from, bro? Okay, so we had four bears there. That's crazy. This is what I'm talking about. Like, ever since I shot all those females from here, like, they're being way more consistent. We're actually getting bears here quickly. Who would have thought it could be possible? Nice, Metal Man. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Mm 
<laughs> yeah, Zaki, go for that moose, dude. They look crazier anyway. Yeah, the female bears are strange. Like, I don't understand how they, like, mess stuff up so much for the rest of the grind. It's crazy. Like, I got a few female bears that are still bouncing between these. I just keep shooting them because it seems to keep things consistent. I wonder if maybe the fact that the females get there first, maybe it's taking up the slots for, like, the early bears. And it's making it so the males are later. I'm curious, like, why having females in the zones makes the males late. It's got to be something like that. Like, maybe some bears get there early, others get there late, and the females are, like, taking up the early slots. I don't know. Either way, it's pretty strange. Travis, thank you for the 10 months, dude. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Are you the one or are you a different one? That's our one. What the? Oh yeah, it's a female bear. I can shoot that though still. I'm gonna shoot it, but I'm not gonna bother claiming it. Nice, Natops, nice. There's our bear. Yeah, they're weird, Buck Hunter. You might have to search some of the surrounding areas. Or shoot a few of the females to see if it gets the spawns uh, moving around again. A plane spotting, how's it going? Thank you, Carson. I appreciate it, man. What's my favorite animal? I would say it's between fallow deer and white tail deer and rooster deer. Like those three are some of my favorite things in the game. They're a lot of fun. They're good looking. And it's just really enjoyable to hunt them for me. I'm doing good playing, doing good. Glad to hear you're doing well. Shot my first great one last night. It was a fabled speckled moose, and the blue eyes were awesome. Shot it from 30 yards with a 454. Grind took 349 kills. That is awesome, R3. Congrats on uh, getting your great one. Congrats on that. That's the three. I think my goal is to eventually, like, get the threes and stuff in the other zones and then shoot the ones that are here. So I've got more males up here. Because I have one or two threes up here still. But it's like, I don't want to shoot it till I get a couple others in other parts. Nice playing, nice. That's crazy, Zaki, because like your bear luck has been great, but your moose luck is just rough. That is rough, man. That is super rough. I have a video idea make a Fortnite style montage, but instead of killing of you killing other characters, you show trophy great one shots or 360 no scope Glock hip shot fires. What do you think, Crow? Maybe. I mean, I've done little montages and videos before, but not uh, not with like great ones and things. So maybe. I am for sure doing a special video for our 50th great one since we got that recently. Yeah, here's the other three that I've been kind of leaving. I eventually want to kill it as well. But I got to get some threes and twos in other zones first. Got to get them in some of those lower zones. Nice. Also, I need to update my stats before we continue shooting. I need to update my stat sheet because I actually want to keep track of how much we kill this stream. And I will forget if I don't write it down. Okay. And...
Okay, it's all updated now. So now I can see exactly how many we kill throughout this stream. Um. <laughs> Wait, who did who did the members member for one month? It's not telling me because you retracted the members or the uh, message. It's not telling me who it is. Well, welcome back, whoever it was. Well, well, welcome back for whoever it was. Appreciate you. Yeah, the 50th great one was a fallow deer. We got it a couple of days ago. So I'm going to make a video that is my favorite and most memorable great ones that we got leading up to 50. It's going to be like all the most memorable moments finding great ones. So you already know like our first great one's going to be in it. Obviously, like the two-tone moose and stuff like that. It's like our most memorable moments hunting great ones is going to be in the video leading up to our 50th great one. It should be a pretty fun video. I'm excited for it. Six and a five. We're not doing too bad so far with the bears. We've got like 11 bear kills in approximately, approximately 11 minutes. Because we had like a two minute intro or whatever. So we're doing better than we were. That's for sure. Uh, there's still more work I could do. That's why I'm trying to get these ones down here to be threes and twos. And then those two threes that I have in the top left, I want to shoot eventually. Because I think that'll make it faster if all of them are up there. There's that four. There should be one more male that we're missing. This area usually has one more male. Oh, really, Johnny? Jeez. Also, how you doing, Johnny? Hope you're doing good. That's our four. Yeah, there's nothing else there. Back here we go. Got a max weight, max score Grey Wolf last night. Nice, Bubba Bear. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Mythical, level six, level five, and level seven. We're consistently getting four bears up here. That's awesome. Love to see you, man. Now the question is, they're so spread out, so how are we going to get them all deaded before they run? I need to wait for them to stop moving if I want to kill them all. Mm, I might work my way down. Okay, we got almost all of them. We got all of them. Correction. We got them all. Okay. That was sketchy, but we got them all. Kill count? 2,460. Way, way too much. Way, way too many bear kills. Eh, that's how many. Oh, got you, Johnny. Okay. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. Stuff happens, though, you know. About 1,200 kills on my grind with Whitetail and going crazy. Hey, it'll happen soon, man. 1,200 isn't that long. In terms of, like, kill counts for great ones, like, it can be... I've had a few whitetail grinds that were closer to 2,000. Uh, on average, I'd say I got them around 14 to 1,500 the most out of all, like, the different kill ranges. So don't worry, man. Just keep on going. It's really all you can do. Just keep on shooting whitetail. You'll get them eventually. That's kind of insane, Zacky. 8,000? That's nuts, man. I do not envy you. That's for sure.
Hey, Schrader, how's it going? You have not missed much at all. We pretty much just started up. We're like 17 minutes into the stream. Just smoking some bears, you know? Hey, monkey man, how's it going, dude? Hey, Deer Slayer? Got a four there. I don't need a four here. You need to shoot the four that's here. That's the one that we killed. Oh, jeez, Colton. It's always funny when the uh, legendaries go aggressive. There we go. Level five down. Wait. There was another one here. Excuse me? It's a big boy track too. He must have still been walking down. This is our one, I think. Oh, no, it's not. Gosh, why do they do that? <laughs> I have that happen so many times with this zone. Like, I'll fast travel over and there's just like, boom. Oh, what the? There's a five there. What is going on? They must have just respawned, actually. They must have just respawned. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, Nate. We're back to the Black Bear. I got them working again. They're being somewhat consistent again, so we're back to hunting them. Now, where is that max weight estimate track bear? Where is it? Where could it be? Oh, it just hit midnight. We got to kill this thing. Also, the... Uh, the uh, waterfowl blinds are phenomenal for bear hunting. It's actually kind of insane how good they are. Okay, so the big boy track is still not showing up. Which means I probably did spook it off at some point. Hey Samuel, how's it going, man? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. That's wild, Merle. Uh, from what I've heard, at least. I haven't watched football in ages, but from what I hear from Bro, bro, that's pretty wild. Uh, sure, Lemons. That'd probably be easier for sure. Better not turn out like Mel's first moose. I know, right? You hate to see it. Oh yeah, gotta love the bears. They, uh... They're bears. That's what they be doing and stuff. They be, like, doing bear things. Nothing there. What about here? Nope, probably because we just reset the time. Let's uh, swoop down here. Nice, Bubba. That's a decent bit of level 5 spawning within that short amount of kills. That's crazy. What was the 50th great one? It was a fallow deer. We got ourselves a fallow for number 50. It was a pretty fallow too. It was a uh, fabled painted Irish elk crack. Emerald Coast Red Deer sounds like fun. That's what I was thinking, too. Like, it'd be so nice to see a Great One Red Deer on Emerald Coast. I just feel like that would look so impressive. Oh, yeah, JC. Everybody live today. Live and alive. 
Live and live, coming at you from the wild, the call of the wild. Nice, Charlie, nice. First time I tried herd management, got a great one in 100 kills, I'm pretty sure. That's crazy. That is wild. Not going to be fun to HM EC Reds, though. Uh, they're pretty much the same as the Fallow, so I don't think it'll be too bad. Because, like, I know where the Fallow deer are. The Red deer are in pretty much the same places. I'm just going to focus on the solos first. If I focus the solos and the river primarily at the beginning, then it shouldn't be too hard to manage them down. Oof. She'll die. She she'll die eventually. Yeah. Eventually she'll die. Brayden, thank you so much for the three months. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. And great one number 50 was a fallow deer. It was indeed a fallow deer. Do you think if they do both a Great One Elk for Roosevelt and Rocky, it'll be the same or two different ones? I don't know. From, what's, from what Jaxie was saying in response to somebody's message in the EW stream, it kind of sounded like if they did an Elk one, it would be for both. But again, that could have just been Jaxie, like, tossing ideas out. Hello? Little bears. Nothing here. Nothing there. We'll go back up here. <laughs> yeah, Zacky. <laughs> true, true, true. You are about to like, you are going for like one of the toughest ones in the entire game. What would I think of Africa 2.0? I think that would be a phenomenal option. Legendary. Let's go. Level 9. Level 9 bear. First level 9 of the day. Wait. You. Is there any more? Kill all the mountain lions. They don't deserve to live. Ah. Stupid mountain lions. I hate them. I hate them with a burning passion. Oh my gosh. I swear that bear looked rare? I don't think it is, no. I think that's just a normal one. Unless it's a brown, which is unlikely. Level six there. Okay, there's the dead female bear. Dude, those mountain lions, I swear to God, they are just... They are the worst. Mountain lion walks? You! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. If I see a mountain lion existing, I'm like, How dare you! <laughs> Come on. So what do you guys think of uh, my new bear grind setup? I think it's a lot better than the old one. Like, these bears are actually being pretty nice. They're behaving very well compared to the last, like, two different rotations that we tried. Like, we tried doing the lower, like, just these lower two lakes down here for a long time. It was consistent, but we didn't really get great ones. So we switched it up to, like, hunt all of these lakes. And now we've switched it up to where we're hunting all of these lakes here and occasionally this one and then we're trying to shoot down these two. And I think it's working out pretty good so far. I'm liking it. Why didn't I kill the nine? Because it spooked. I wasn't going to take a shot while it was running. We're going to come back to it when it's actually calm. Seems like there's more. Oh yeah, it's definitely more consistent up here. And I think once we uh, shoot a few of the others down to level threes, down where I was talking about, uh, it should get it should get even better. We should start getting level nines, 
like every 25, 20 ish kills, like 20 ish, 25, somewhere in that range. Right now, I'm averaging a diamond every 27 kills. I'd like to get it down to 25 at least. Like, I'll, I'll, 25 is acceptable. 20 would be ideal for me. Because I know I buy is getting them about like every 17. I don't know if I want to manage them that much. Did I take inspiration from iBuy's Black Bear grind? I just did what iBuy, Zaki, and a few others have been telling me to do. It's like partially the same. But I'm also grinding like the lower lakes as well. But I am grinding like the top four that he really uses. Because they are very consistent. Like these lakes here, except I don't get it. I don't get how this lake is consistent for you guys. Like for those that grind the bears, this lake sucks for me. This lake is so bad for me. I don't know why it's so bad, but the bears that are there get there really late. That's the only lake that I have not got to be super consistent. I occasionally get males here, though, so I have to keep a tent here. Uh, like I said, I occasionally get males here. There's one right there. I've got mainly female bears here though because I don't like this lake at all so I've just been leaving all the females here and trying to get as many of them to respawn over here as possible. Like we got a couple females there. There's that male. I've got like three more females over on this side I think. Like I've been able to stack up a lot of females here. Thankfully. I already made a, uh, another vid about catching Big Larry Gage. I just need to edit it and upload it. Yeah, my first bear did take an absurd amount of kills. It was really, really rough. How's it going, Dynamic? Hope you're doing good. I'm convinced, though, that no matter what I do, I'm just convinced that my bears are always going to take a long time to spawn. I mean, we've done so many different things this grind, and they're still being mad inconsistent. In terms of like... Or not really inconsistent, what's the word? Stubborn. They're being mad stubborn, just not giving me great ones. I'm just hoping for a sub 3000 great one. That would be much appreciated, Call of the Wild. Oh, I'm doing good, Dynamic. Doing great. I'm just happy my bears are working good. That lake's garbage? Yeah, it sucks for me. I don't know what is wrong with that lake, but this one, they're just so late here. They're so late. But then, like, these other lakes down here are great. Once you get all the females moved out of them, at least. This lake is sometimes slow for me. Like right now they're not here. But usually it's pretty good. I feel like the problem with this one is they don't always go there. Only have females there and it's so brushy. Yeah, it's really, really brushy. It definitely is. What time do I set it for Magpie Geese on Emerald Coast? I don't think it really matters what time you're at. I like doing it like early morning to midday just so the lighting's good. And I feel like sometimes I see more uh, geese flying around earlier in the day, like before 12. But you can get them at all times. I've done nighttime hunting for the waterfowl in uh, Call of the Wild and it's usually pretty good. Level 6. Level 6. I need you guys to spawn back as like threes, please. Okay, they were the only two. Good to know. Yeah, for sure, RTS, for sure. It'd be great. 
Literally. Um, I think it's like the second best in the game, Colton. I know it can do like 33 pound line. It's pretty good. Rocky, thank you for the uh, one month as a member. Really appreciate it. How are you, Crow? I'm doing good, man. Doing real, real good. Smoking some bears. Hoping we can get ourselves a great one today. Because uh, whenever we get like one or two more bears, I'm going to go to a Emerald Coast Red Deer grind. I've kind of been feeling it. Kind of been feeling like going back to Red Deer. Like the nostalgia kicking in and stuff. And I figured, why not do it on Emerald Coast since we've never done it before. And it'd be cool to see one on on Australia. It'd be cool to see a great one on Australia. Nothing there. Okay, let's check here. Sometimes they end up here. What's my favorite fur color for the Great One Bear? I really like the Fabled Chestnut. Fabled Chestnut's amazing. The Spirit is pretty good. The Fabled Cream is amazing. I also do kind of like the Fabled Spotted. The only ones that are just kind of okay to me are the Glaciers. Like, I feel like the Glaciers, they're like, they're cool. But I definitely take the others over them. I knew there'd be one here. I knew it. There's always a straggler that ends up over here. Still need to fallow off Emerald Coast. I don't even know if I'll ever do that, to be honest. Like, I, I feel like I'd rather get a red deer off of there. It's like, I don't have a red deer grind set up yet, but I've got a fallow grind already, so I just can't bring myself to make another fallow grind. Hey, Lone Wolf, how's it going, man? Hey, Little Red, how's it going? What's the map for grinding fallow? I use uh, Tiabaroa. Tiabaroa is really good for it. Oh, nice, Lone Wolf. Those are a couple that people have been having a lot of trouble on. That's uh, that's nice that you got it completed. Hello, random level 7 that showed up in a place I didn't want it to show up in. Evil. Evil little bear making me go to other places. What is this? Yeah, they could definitely improve it, Zaki, but I don't think they wanted it to be 100% the same. Because, like, technically, the um, spirit bears IRL, I think they're called the Kermode bears, right? Those technically are a subspecies, so I feel like because, like, it's still a... The Great One Black Bear is still a black bear. It's not like a subspecies or anything. I feel like they had to make it a little bit different, so it just like looks like a looks like a spirit bear, but maybe isn't like a real spirit bear, you know? I think that's probably what they were going for. Oh gosh, reloading would really help me out. Yeah, get out of here. Stupid mountain lions. Mountain lions are the worst thing on Silver Ridge Peaks. Just because they're annoying. Now, if they added a gray one mountain lion, I think I'd be pretty happy with that. Um, XL, I don't know how to print I'm just going to say XLC. Thank you so much for the membership. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much, dude. Hey, Tucker, how's it going, man? Welcome back. Trying to get Big Larry on 22 pound line, will that work? It will work, but it's going to take a long time, so be prepared for a long fight. That's going to be a lengthy fight to go through. That is going to be a lengthy one for sure. 
Yeah, I don't know why, Merle. It is strange that they spook them. It's very strange. But I suppose it is what it is. Oh, I'm doing great, Tucker. Doing great. Really happy that our bears are working much better than they were. There's a four. Where's that big track that was over there, man? We had a we had a heavy bear track, and it has not shown up since we picked up the track. I wonder if because we spooked it, it's just not going to come back till we go to the main menu. We might have to go to the main menu because we spooked off a nine. We spooked off whatever this other big track was. That's our one. Yeah, I think it's time that we main menu just to get all the spooked ones to stop being spooked. I don't like main menuing a lot with the bears nowadays, but every once in a while you got to to get them working right again. Nice, Blake. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Congrats, man. What map is better for moose grinding, Leighton or Medved? Um, I would say if you're doing herd management, Leighton is easier because there's less to manage down. If you're not doing herd management, Medved's better because there's more moose. So it depends on how you want to grind. There's our nine. There's an eight. Nice. Love to see it. Level nine and level eight. Second shot nailed him. Please be a diamond. Please do not troll us. Please, please, please be a diamond. I will be very sad if you troll. I think it said 22 to 25, right? Whoa! 22, 97. It's a diamond. Boom. First diamond of the day. XLC, thank you for upgrading your membership to Super Crow. Really appreciate it, dude. Really, really appreciate it, man. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. That's very generous of you. That is very, very generous. How many great one moose do I have? What number am I on now? Um, I've got seven of them. Seven great one moose at the moment. They're probably my favorite great one in the whole game as well. Oh, true dynamic. True. There we go. That's how you get a uh, that's how you get a great one. You just combine a level nine and a level one. That's a crazy life hack. Yeah, that's a mythical and then a six. But that's the uh, the big track that wasn't showing up at its zone. Oh. Thank you, XL. I appreciate that, man. 10, 10, 10. Yes, please give us a fabled. Come on. Please give us the fabled. It's been so long. It's been so long, man. I just want to see 10 fabled pop up. Give me a 10 fabled bear. Give us the 10 fabled. Can't get the magpie to come in. Uh, they're a little weird sometimes. Especially with the crocodiles around there. It can be tough to get them to work properly. I know a lot of people that struggle with the magpies. I struggled for a while as well. I'd probably check YouTube, see if there's any guides for it. Oh, because I said I wasn't going to stack them, Zachy. I just want to grind normally, and then if I get them to turn into... Um, if I get them to turn into threes or twos at the other zone, then I'll leave them. Like, I'm just going to grind all of the bears between those lakes, and then... If they pop up low level, then I'll leave them. 
I don't really feel like stacking the nines at the moment. There's a six right there. What I could do is I could shoot the threes that are at these other lakes. That way the other ones pop up as threes faster. I could do that. In fact, I think I will. That gets some more bears in our rotation as well. Hey. These are the luckiest bears in the world. No, get back here. Don't, don't turn me into a fool. These bears making me look like a fool over here. That should be illegal. Uh, great one number 50 was a fallow deer, Blake. It was a beautiful fabled painted Irish elk rack fallow. It was amazing to see that thing. Let's reload this time so we don't forget. Let's reload so we don't forget to. 10 seconds, you think? We'll see. We will see. What gun am I using? 300 Magnum. And the 338 bolt action. All right, later, Samuel. Thank you for dropping in, man. Hey, Drake, how's it going? It's a four. It's a nine. Let's go. That's guaranteed dime as well. Oh, the dimes are popping up now. Let's freaking go. And a five. They're everywhere. Nice. That went better than I expected. Yeah, hopefully we get it today, Gage. I, I'd love to get this great one quickly. Well, I mean, it's not going to be quickly, technically, because we've already been grinding for 2,484 kills for this bear, but hopefully it'll show up soon. Hopefully it'll be soon. I think this is the nine, right? No. That's the five. Where's the nine? He died shortly after getting shot, I think. Oh. Did I... Did I get vitals? Non-vital organ hit! Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I thought I was far enough ahead. I guess I aimed too far back, though. I feel like that should have been a good shot. Oh, well. Nice, Jason. Nice. No, I don't think it was spine. I think it was probably uh, stomach. It was likely a stomach shot, I think. Because uh, he was like 330 away. And I aimed like center of the lung, so I don't think it would have been spine. Yeah, it was stomach. That was a big boy too, 2369. Technically still a diamond, so we'll add it to the diamond counter. Ah, just unfortunate though. We messed up the shot, man. We messed it up. Oh, uh, feels bad, XL. Feels bad, man. 
Thank you, Maddie. I appreciate it. Yeah, that one was a guaranteed diamond. It had no chance of being a troll. Yeah, it's fine. It happens. We all mess up diamonds here and there. All my zones in my fallow grind have at least uh, one level two. I only have like 10 deer out of all my zones. Is something wrong? How many zones do you have, Shecky? Because if you have less than 35 zones, then you're definitely missing some. Oh, we got a three. Yes, we got another three here. That's amazing. We got a three. It's definitely a new three as well, because I don't think we had an, a, a single three here. Nice, lap boy. Nice. Welcome back, man. We got a new level three there, which is nice. Completed your fur collection for bears today? Dude, no way, Andrew. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. I'm still trying to get number two. I'm at almost 2,500 kills now on the second grind. I don't know what's wrong with my bears. They're, they're rude, I guess. That's crazy that you've completed the fur collection. How many bears is that now? You gotta be at like 10 or something, right? All right, let's reset the time. 11? Jeez, I, I figured you were around 10. That's crazy, 11 Great One Bears. I think that's around like what I buys at now, isn't it? He's, he's probably at a little bit more even. We could go, I got a super rare Wildebeest. Nice, Jason, nice. Love to see it, dude. Five, two, five, five, six. <laughs> All the small males. All the small males are here. All right. I buy at 16. Jeez. That's crazy. Does I buy have more great ones than me? Yes, he does. Because I'm pretty sure he pretty much only does great one grinding. I do a lot of other stuff too, so I haven't put nearly as much time into great one grinding as him. He's had a lot of time to like learn the the ins and out of like perfect grinding and stuff. He's got it down to a T. I believe I buys at like 90 or something like that. He's at like 80 something or 90 something great ones. And we're at 50 of them. Uh, okay, that one's up there. Gonna get the great one the stream? I hope so, man. I hope so. It'd be so nice if we could. It would be great to see a great one bear show up. Level six. Oh, we got a six right there as well. Holy. What was great one number 50? It was a fallow deer. It was a great one fallow deer with fabled painted and Irish elk rack. It was a really nice looking Irish elk rack as well. It was the type that points almost straight up. Massive fan of that look. Oh no, Nate, I'm sorry to hear that, man. 
you have any bear grinding tips? I tried starting a grind for them, but barely have any males. Uh, the thing about bears is like at the beginning, especially they're going to be really late to their zones. There's a lot of zones that they are very, very late to like all the ones down here for the most part, like all the ones up here, they're super late. The only consistent zones seem to be the left side. To be honest, like I've done so many different things during my bear grind and I've grinded in so many different ways. I've hunted so many different zones as my main zones that I don't even fully remember how I started the bear grind. I don't remember what I did when I first started. I know that Lady and I buy have a guide on how to do bears. So I'd probably recommend checking that out. As it's going to have more up to date info than what I remember. Oh, you. Oh, stop it! <laughs> He's zigging and zagging. There we go. He's dead. That was a lot of zigging and zagging right there. A little bit too much zigging and zagging for my liking. What the? Um, did I forget a bear? Did I hit that one and not realize it? Is that that level six? Is that the level six? It might be. I might have killed it last run and not known. I saw it sprint away as I took the shot, so I just assumed I missed it. I think we got it, though. I think we ended up killing it. Yeah, this is the six. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. That's wild, man. No clue, Colton. I got videos for it coming out soon, though. I don't know about angler streams, though. The only angler stream that is guaranteed is Tackle Tuesday. Any other angler streams is pretty, like, random as to when they'll happen. But it's possible we'll do some more soon. I've got two angler videos ready to go though. Just need to edit them. Is chocolate rare on fallow? It's not rare. I believe it's an uncommon, but it's a semi easy to find uncommon. They look incredible though. Like they're definitely one of the prettier fur types in the game. All right, nothing there. What is your least favorite great one possibility? Like, uh, what's my least favorite combo? I would say, to be honest, I I'm going to, I'm going to separate each great one in this. I'm going to do my least favorite for each great one. Cause I feel like you can't really compare like white tail to fallow because they're so different in terms of like how they look. Um, I'd say my least favorite combination to get for Fallow Deer is Fabled Golden Spoon Rack, which happened to be the first one that I got. Um, my least favorite combo for Moose would have to be probably Quad Paddle Ashen because it just looks really basic. Not a fan of Quad Paddle Ashen at all. It just looks too much like a normal Moose to me. I would say... For the whitetail, my least favorite, probably the Kinsko rack or the cluster rack, AKA the blade rack and the crown rack. Least favorite red deer, great one rack, probably the big rack. I feel like the small and midsize rack looks better. Uh, for bears, the, like, faded glacier is my least favorite. So, yeah. Those are probably my least favorites. Now, for my favorites of all time. Fabled birch, typical rack for the moose. Um, blade rack mocha fur type for the fallow deer. 
Uh, typical rack for the whitetail. Fable chestnut for the bear. And for red deer, probably... Probably the mid-size rack. I'd say the mid-size rack is my favorite. What's my favorite super rare? I would say... Favorite super rare... Of the ones that I have... Probably... I mean, it's gotta be my albino diamond whitetail. The basket rack one. That's gotta be my favorite super rare that I have. And potentially the diamond melamoose, that's also up there. As one of the best. One bear here. Just one bear. The rest must be at the other lake. What was the 50th great one? It was a fabled painted Irish elk rack uh, fallow deer. Also, just a heads up, guys. We don't need a play-by-play -play of when, like, creators are posting their videos and streams. Ooh. Melamoose was fire. It was crazy, man. That's got to be one of the wildest moments in my entire time playing this game. Like, it was just so unexpected and insane. 777. Seven, seven. Why are you aggressive? Chill, bro. Okay, there's something wrong with this setup. How far away is it? 275. I feel like I need to just move the tents and stuff closer because they're spooking. Like, they're, they're going into that aggressive state. I can't remember if that happens when I'm too close or too far away. Let's move stuff around, though. Let's move stuff around. That might be better. We'll we'll see. We'll see if that works better. Can we put it over here? We definitely can, I think. We'll try this. We'll see how it works. Uh, 50th great one was a fallow deer. Really pretty fallow deer as well. Nice blue, nice. Remember the demon goat? I do, Colton. That thing was amazing looking. That thing was amazing looking. Getting the black feral goats are always really, really cool. And no, that was a that was a video that I did, Outdoor Boy. I did one with a, uh, a black feral goat and some kangaroos. 
Did you move your grind to the top left corner? It's all over the left side, uh, Ronnie. I'm all over the left side at the moment. Imagine back-to-back -back great ones. That would be nuts. I've never got them back-to-back, -back, but I've had I've had a couple that were pretty close before. For a whitetail grind. Is there another? Oh, it's a nine. Ah, I'm glad I didn't shoot. I'm glad I didn't shoot. That's a nine. <laughs> that could have been bad. I was about to just fire. That could have been bad. Oh my gosh. I almost made a bad decision. I clicked too. I clicked, but because... Because I had fired at this bear and then immediately exited, it hadn't, uh... Like, if you fire like that and then exit immediately, the next time you go to fire, it'll rack another shell in there with the bolt. That literally saved me right there. That saved me from ruining that level 9. Saved by a bug, man. That's crazy. Oh, Cam, that's insane, dude. Congrats. That is a feat in and of itself just to land a diamond lake trout with line that's that, like, low in, uh, in, uh, pound test. Like, that's insane. That is quite the achievement, man. That is quite the achievement. Nothing there. So, I'm debating moving a tent. I haven't had anything show up here in a while, so I think I'm going to grab this tent right here. And I need to put it down at one of the zones where we keep getting a straggler mail. What is the easiest animal to grind? Uh, there's a few that are decently easy, but... I would say fallow's probably the easiest one. Fallow deer are much easier than most animals. At least if you're hunting them on em or not Emerald Coast, if you're hunting them on Tiawaroa, fallow are incredibly easy because they have such a small range which they can make their zones and stuff. They're like only on the right corner or like right quarter of the map. So it's pretty insane. How, like, uh, efficiently you can grind them. We're going to set up this tent down here. Just hit midnight as well. Do a quick little reset. While we're heading down there. You stupid mountain lions. Why do these things exist? Why do they exist? Mountain goats. Rarely see these nowadays. We're going to plop a tent right there. Uh, how about the M1, Jason? What is my dream combo? Like for any great one in the game or or what? I mean my dream combo overall would be to get a fable birch typical rack moose. If you're talking about like favorite fur type for bears, I'd like to get a chestnut. Any great one? Yeah, definitely the fable birch typical rack moose then. I want one of those so badly. It'd be so good. It'd be so, so good. Mountain lion zone. You silly mountain lions. They just want to make my day terrible. 
That's all they're good for. Uh, yeah, I remember you. What recording and editing software do you use? So for recording, I use OBS. Um, for streaming, I use Streamlabs OBS because it's got all of the uh, all of the uh, built-in like plugins and stuff that makes streaming just a lot easier. Um, for editing, I use Filmora 12. Pretty good editing software. It's like one of the most like advanced, simplified editing softwares out there. Like it's really easy to understand. It explains everything to you. It's even got like built-in tutorials and everything. It's just very easy to use and gives you a lot of options with like um, their film stock program. Like if you if you subscribe to their film stock program, I think it's like 15 bucks for three months or whatever. Or maybe it's like 30 for three months, but it's somewhere around that range. You get access to so many transitions, uh, stock footage, stock images. You can immediately like drag like gifts and stuff into your projects and stuff. There's just a million different things that you can use. And it just makes editing so simple. That's what I end up using. Really enjoy it. Hey, Gavin, it's going good. The bears are behaving, so can't ask for much more. Nice, Johnny. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. How many kills in are we? 2,496. So it's been, uh, it's been interesting. Wow, Chip. Wow. H how's it going, Chip? Let me guess you've been sitting here for like probably 15 minutes waiting for that joke. <laughs> uh, how you doing? Hope you're doing good, man. What would the hardest non-bird great one to grind for be? If they, if you're talking like any species in the game, if they were to give it a great one, what would be the toughest for a non-bird? Uh, probably cottontail rabbit, to be honest. The cottontails would be really tough. Yeah, cottontail rabbit and bobwhite quail would probably be like the most impossible to grind. If they were to ever give them a great one. It would just be, I don't even know if I'd do it. It would be that bad. It would not be worth it, in my opinion. Doing good? No, that was a quick one? Oh, beautiful. Love to see it. That's awesome, though, Chip. He's just chipping in on the conversation. Wow. Wow, Zaki. Not you, too, man. Oh, my gosh. Why are these mountain lions like this? Why are you like this? Why are you in my zones? <laughs> yeah, Metal Man. <laughs> that's actually, that's, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. I like that. Nothing. Just watch two hours of your old live stream and only see you alive now. Nice, H. Jarson. Glad you could make the stream, man. I don't need you at this zone. You're, you're popping up at the wrong zone, level three. I need you at one of the lower zones. What is this? What perk point should I get? Level 58 at the moment. Uh, well, I don't know where you'd be in like uh, the perks that you're getting. I don't know which ones you have and like which ones are available. Nice. And that brings us to 2,501 kills. Oh my gosh. Please just show up, Mr. Great One. I am going crazy. I'm going crazy.
Hate to see it. Why do you shoot in a tripod and not in the ground? Because it reduces hunting pressure if you're in a tripod. So if I can get into one, I'll get into one. It's not like a necessity for bear grinding, but I still try to. There we go. Let's go get that nine. Nice, Liam, nice. Oh, I hope it's not, Blue. I, I hope it's not. I will be so sad if it's another 8,000 kill grind. That'll be disappointing. Especially since everybody else gets their sub 1,000 for the most part. <laughs> like, I swear, everybody that's hardcore grinding the bears right now gets most of their great ones sub 1,000. What's my favorite great one combination? Overall, like in total, Fable, Birch, Typical, Rack, Moose. Got a six there. That's probably our nine, yeah. That's our level nine. This is the nine that we missed last time. There's a five and a six. He keeps stopping. No! Why are you stopping? That's like the exact opposite of the why are you running meme. Why are you stopping? Stop it. No stopping allowed. Oh, It's bears, bro. If it's not one thing, it's another. At least we got the nine. At least we got vitals on our nine. Hey, that's almost max score. Love to see it. Love to see it. E thick. Map to get a diamond on. Emerald Coast. Emerald Coast. You already know it. Now let's go get that level six. Since he ran a million miles. What do you strength? What? Or gosh, I can't read. I mixed up that sentence. I was gonna say, "What do you think?" and I read, "What are you strange?" <laughs> what do you think the strangest great one would be for EW to make? Um, any type of waterfowl, just because it'd be really hard to grind them. I don't know. Actually, uh, what would be the strangest? What would be the strangest great one? I don't know, to be honest. I 
I don't really know if there is like a strangest great one. I mean, we got like the toughest, like the most annoying to grind. Uh, but I don't know about strangest. Yeah, no clue. That is a question I really don't have an answer for. Dude, we got another three to show up here. And a four. Nice. I need them showing up at the other zones, not these. Where is the four? There it is. There's our four. Great one, Raccoon. That would be an interesting one. That would be pretty interesting. Stubble Quail. Yeah, that actually... Yeah, that might be... Yeah, that would probably be the weirdest one they could do, a Stubble Quail. Because, like, Stubble Quail, from what I've seen, are not a very popular species to hunt. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There was another big boy bear here. Did we spook it? We had to have spooked it, right? Man, I didn't realize that was there. If I had known, I would have been a little bit more careful. So we got a max weight estimate track there. That could be a 7, 8, or 9. Let's hope it's a 9. Did you miss anything? Oh, you didn't miss too much. We got a couple of diamonds, but aside from that, not really anything too crazy has shown up. There's a seven there. Reloading would be great. I should probably learn to reload. I should also learn about bullet drop, probably. Because I messed that shot up. There we go. Only that one male. I legit took that 400 meter shot like it was a 300 meter shot. What am I doing? A map, but not Emerald Coast or England or Quattro Colinas. Um, how about Silver Ridge Peaks, Jason? How about Silver Ridge Peaks? Hey, Carson, how's it going, man? Yeah, a wild boar uh, great one could be cool. I wouldn't mind that, to be honest, like a hogzilla. And I feel like wild boar would actually be easier to hunt than bears because they are in, like, groups. They're not solo like the bears are. But I do feel like a wild boar wouldn't be terrible to hunt. I mean, it's not my first choice, but I don't think it would be as tough to hunt as bears. There's that three. Nice. Great one, Jackal would be a no-go for me. Oh, Jackal would be tough, wouldn't it? Jackal would be really tough. Jackals still have a drink time, right? Do they? I know they got rid of the Springbok drink time, but do Jackal have a drink time? I feel like they don't. I might be wrong on that, but I, I feel like they don't. They don't? Oh, yeah, Jackal would be such a terrible great one to do then. Why? Yeah, I they they better not ever do a jackal great one, or I'll be really sad. If they do a jackal great one, they have to make it have a drink time.
Also, I never thought of this. Why don't they have a drink time? That is so weird. That is so weird. They should. Why don't they? That makes no sense. Oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Yeah, like they're a, they're a predator. Like they're not they're not the same as like a uh, springbok where they can get water off of the morning dew and stuff. They they totally should have a drink time. That's so strange. Boom, three bears down. Nice, Kevin, nice. Think a great one, Black Buck, would be awesome. I think it would look amazing, but I don't know if it'd be fun to grind because they drink at nighttime on the coast of Parque Fernando. So I don't know if it'd be a fun grind, but they would look incredible. That's for sure. They would look very, very good. Can't deny that. They would look amazing. I also think an Axis to your Great One would be a very, like, slept on and underrated pick. I think a Great One Axis here would look crazy. But again, it would be one of those ones that I don't think a lot of people would pay attention to. I think it'd be a very underrated Great One pick. Want to see a Great One Mule Deer? Me too, man. Mule Deer or either Elk is like my top at the moment. I really would love to see a Great One Blacktail as well, but I don't think they'd be as fun to hunt as an Elk. Oh, the bears are working so well for me right now. Oh my gosh. They're being so consistent. I love it. Cole, thank you for the super chat, dude. Got my first diamond yesterday using your spot. Nice, man. That is awesome. What was your uh, first diamond? What did you end up getting as your first? Where these other go? There's one. Um, here's the blood for this guy. Oh no, it's non-vital organ hit. We messed up the perfect streak there. Where did he run off to? I don't know where he ran to. Let's get the dog on it. Let's get old Hunter chasing after him. You got this, Hunter. I believe in you, buddy. I believe in you. Show me the way. Hey, Dron, how's it going? Angler tonight? Uh, possibly, but not 100% sure. What fur type would I want for a black bear? Fabled chestnut. That is my most wanted fur type. It'd be so good. Nice, Austin. Nice. Great one, Turkey. I actually think a great one, Turkey, would be kind of cool. So this, this is this is my idea, guys. Right? Like, we've heard EW say many, many times they want Great Ones to be on the base game maps, right? They want them to be accessible to everybody and not, like, paywalled. But, like, so many people want a Great One Mule Deer. So many people want, like, a Great One Rocky Mountain Elk. So many people want, like, a Great One Lion and things. What if they did two Great Ones in one update? What if they did, like, a Great One Mule Deer and then also did, like, a Great One Merriam Turkey so that there would be a base game Great One and a DLC Great One? I think that'd be a good compromise, like do like a turkey great one on Leighton Lakes and then do like a mule deer great one. That way, like everybody's still getting a new great one. 
I think it'd be good. Both elk, yeah, that's another one that would be really good. Like, do it for both elk. Kind of like um, how Jaxie replied to the question of whether or not we'd see an elk great one. That would be pretty cool as well. Like, I feel like there's a lot of options they could go with to make it so you could do a DLC great one and have a new great one still accessible to the base game people that only have the base game and don't have the DLC maps. I feel like there's so many ways to do it. Mule Deer and Blacktail. Ooh, that's another good idea, Logan. Like a Mule Deer Blacktail cross. Because like a Blacktail is a subspecies of Mule Deer. You could totally do a great one that is like a, a cross of them. That'd be kind of cool. Or like one that can spawn from both. That is actually amazing. That'd be so good. That'd be so good. This must be the max weight estimate track that we saw. Come on. It's a mythical. Was hoping for a legendary, but I'll take a mythical as well. I'll take it, man. Nice. I noticed that's awesome. Hope you're having a fun time, man. Hope you're having a grand old time. Great one, Capper Kelly. That could be pretty sick as well. I think a great one, Pheasant, would be an interesting one. Um, it would be really tough to hunt, but I think it would look cool. Also, like another option is they could add mountain lions to Leighton Lakes and then do a mountain lion great one. But like, as long as they don't put them in the uh, spots with the other animals, like as long as they're not spooking stuff off, I'd like them on Leighton. Because like there is a bunch of mountainous areas on Leighton Lakes that don't get any animals. Like if you go to the high mountains of Leighton Lakes, nothing lives there really. So putting mountain lions up in those mountains and like maybe some bighorn sheep, that'd be so good. And I mean, since like currently on Silver Ridge Peaks, they're called Mountain Lions and on Parquet, they're called Puma. If they put them on Layton, they could call them Cougars because that's what we call them over here in Oregon. We call them Cougars. It's the same thing in Washington, I believe, which is kind of where Layton is based. They could call them Cougars. I think that would be pretty cool. Level six. All right, so it came back as a six this time. Please, I need you to like not be a level six. Please come back as a level three or a level two. I want to shoot this zone down. Hey, Miko, how's it going? You missed a few diamonds, but aside from that, you didn't miss anything else. What is the easiest great one grind? Currently, it is the Tiabaroa Fallow Deer grind. As of now, that is like the easiest grind you could set up for. Two and four. Come on, what else do we have? Eventually, like once we shoot down that level six that we just killed, once we get it to be a three or below, we'll kill this four. And try to get it to go to a three or a two. What is the biggest diamond pike you've seen? Off of Norway, it's like 48 pounds. Off of Golden Ridge? I don't know. I'm trying to think. 
I think like 27 or 28 or something like that. It's been a bit since I've looked for the Golden Ridge Reserve one. Three bears down. Why am I trying to get it to a two or a three? Because I'm trying to herd manage down that uh, that zone. What do you do when there's only low level males and females in a zone? Just leave them? Uh, yes, essentially. If it's a zone I don't like, I'll leave them. If it's a zone I like, I will kill them. So for example, right now I'm trying to manage down these two lakes, so I'm trying to get these males to be three or below. But if I get a three or below in one of these zones, I'm going to end up killing it because those are the areas I'm trying to use to grind. Um, potentially, Geo. The thing is, I don't have a thumbnail ready for that. So I don't know if I'd do it today. It'd probably be the next live stream we would start the Red Deer. Because I don't have a uh, thumbnail that has bears and red deer on it. I don't think I do, at least. I might. I'd have to dig and see if I do. But yeah, red deer would be like the next stream after we get our bear. Oh, I forgot to claim that. Forgot to claim this bear right here. There's more tracks, too. Ooh, there's going to be at least one bear over here when we uh, fast travel. Great one, water buffalo. That'd be crazy. That'd be pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I found a great one randomly once. Ooh. Ah, it's a five. We got a rare. We got a rare. We got a rare bear. But it's a level five. I was really hoping that would be a nine. But we got a rare. That is awesome. Uh, but as I've seen, yeah, I've found a great one randomly before, Johnny. My second great one ever. Oh, that's a blonde, it looks like. That's a blonde, I think. That's crazy. That's a blonde. But yeah, my second great one ever I found randomly. I was looking for zones on Layton for Whitetail so I could make a, a zone guide. And I ended up finding it as I was going to a uh, lake I hadn't checked. You sure that's cinnamon? That looks blonde to me. That looks blonde to me. Thought it was a spirit for a second? Oh, it definitely looks like that for sure. Ugh, why are you doing that? That looks like a blonde, yeah. Yeah, that looks blonde to me. I might be wrong. It could be cinnamon, but it looks blonde. That definitely looks blonde. Because, like, the, the contrast in, like, the main body and the feet is just too... It's too drastic to be a cinnamon. Like, that's too big of a difference. No way. No way. It's a... Uh, wait. No, it's blonde. Wait. Yeah? Yeah, it's blonde. It's blonde. Love to see it. Love to see it. On first glance, I was like, is that really a cinnamon? Nah, it's a blonde. Love to see a nice blonde bear. Too bad it's only a five, but regardless, that's cool. It's our first rare of the day. And a level seven as well. Nice sorting. That's awesome, dude. That could be fun, Reese. I don't know if I will, but it, it's a possibility. I haven't hunted Quattro much in ages.
How long is the stream? Uh, we've been going for an hour and 40 minutes already. I'll probably go for at least another hour. What is the fishing game called? Uh, Call the Wild the Angler. It's the same developers as the Hunter Call of the Wild. Well, not the exact same devs, but the same, like, company, right? It's expansive worlds. Just like the Hunter Call of the Wild. It's a pretty fun game. I enjoy it a lot. Nothing there. Okay, I'll bet you. I will bet you we got a mail up here. Because we're starting to see a few of them just be missing. Oh, maybe not. Either that or it's just late to the zone. Which is also very, very possible. Oh, <gasps> there it is. Had a feeling there'd be one here. But he's in a different zone than normal, so that's unfortunate. So there's two zones that they're going for this, like, straggler male. This is one area where, like, if I get a three to show up at this lake, I probably will just leave it because I don't like hunting this lake. Late to the zone or a great one. If it was a great one, that would be incredible. I would forgive this zone for kind of sucking if it gave us a great one. Wait, that looks like more than just one bear worth of tracks. Oh my gosh, it is. There's a male here. Are you kidding me? There's another male there. Ah. Uh, no wonder we saw a few just like disappearing from the other lakes. It's because they're here. Man. What's herd management? I'm new. So herd management is, it's like selective shooting, essentially. You're shooting only the biggest males. You're not shooting the small ones. So for example, for the bears, I'm only shooting like the fours and above. I'm leaving the level threes, the level twos, and the level ones. And the more of those you get on your map, the more diamonds will show up. So for example, if I've got 20 level threes on my map, I'm going to get more diamonds than if I only had five level threes on my map, if that makes sense. That's essentially how it works. Like the more, the higher percentage of your population is low levels, the more, oh my gosh, there's two males here. The more, uh, big males you'll get because the game's trying to fill up. It's trying to like compensate for all the low levels, essentially. I did not get that mythical well. Cole, thank you for the super chat, dude. Lake Trout got two of them, 28 pounds and 41. Nice, man. That's awesome. 41 is massive, by the way. That's a huge Lake Trout. Congrats, dude. Congrats, man. Great one, Gemsbok. That'd be kind of nuts. That'd be pretty wild. Is this your full-time job? It is indeed. Thanks to all of you amazing people that watch the content. That's vitals right there. This would be the six, I believe. Wow, Chip. That's a wild, that's a wild pun. That is... <laughs> Why do I feel like you've used that one before? I feel like you've used that one. That seems familiar. Come on, Hunter. Show me the blood. Show me the blood. Hey, Nightmare. How's it going, man? Can I quickly go over the setup for bear grinding? I mean, I can show you it, but I can't promise you that your grind's going to require the same, like, setup because everybody's... Everybody's uh, bears are going to be in different places slightly. Like, you may have females and males in different places than I do, but this is what my map looks like right now. That's the thing about grinding, is, like, there's so many different locations that they can be. 
that no two maps are going to be the same. You're going to have slight differences that will require different tent placements. So it's best to just like take a look at your population of animals and figure out what works best for the like the way that your animals are dispersed across the map. Definitely one of those things where you got to kind of look at it and figure out where, what works best for you. Grizzly rework? I would like a grizzly rework for sure. I feel like they're kind of lacking after the reworks to brown bear and black bear. How many kills today? Um, almost a hundred. We're almost at a hundred. We've spent a little bit of time like moving some stuff around, so we've definitely took some time off of our grinding there. Grizzly looked disgusting. You know what's crazy to think about? Back when Yukon first came out, Grizzly Bear were like considered to be one of the best models in the game. Like everybody was just like in awe at how amazing they looked compared to the other stuff that we had at the time. And now, you know, a few years later, Grizzly Bear are now seen as one of the worst models in the game. Just shows how much the game has improved over the years. Grizzlies used to be one of the nicest looking animals in the game. Yo, Tony, what's up? Hope you're doing good. A five and a four. And a six. Four, five, six. Love to see it. Holy. Think they need to make whitetail smaller? Like the body size or the racks? Because I can agree with the racks. I feel like they are way too big. There's way too many 8x8s, way too many 7x7s. Yo, what's up, Nate? What's up? Oh, it's been a great day so far, Cody. And congrats on your first great one, man. That's awesome. Hey, Dallas, how's it going? Howdy, Tucker. Welcome back, man. You know what? Yeah, that's what you get. Stupid mountain lion. Scaring off my bears. You like scaring my bears? Well, I like running you over. The amount of satisfaction I'm getting right now is incredible. What you get? What you get? I will walk if I can just park an ATV on you. Uh, that's what they get for spooking my bears off. They spook my bears way too much. Just unacceptable. How do I have so many diamonds? A grinding method called herd management, uh, Danny. Herd management increases your diamond numbers by a ton. Like an absolute ton. I've got a bunch of guides on the channel on how to do herd management if you're interested. One of the moderators can bring up the command for it and it'll link you to a playlist that has all my HM guides. Two sevens. Why can't the bears just kill the mountain lions? That's what I'm saying. Why can't these bears just like not be scared of a cat? Like, come on. Nice, Dallas. That's awesome. Well, that one decided to dart off, but it's fine. We needed to leave him anyway. Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. 
I was literally looking at him. There they are. Should just be this guy now. Yep, all those tracks are from him. Lovely. Lovely. Love to see it. I know, right, Blue? Like, what's up with that? What's up with that, man? The bears are scared. Okay, so only two sets of tracks there. Don't see anything else over there. Oh, yeah, Reese. That would be nuts, but I think it would be impossible to get it to that state from what I've seen. Like, uh, when you get your HM to a certain point, you just can't get it any further. Which is kind of why, like, people stack diamonds. It's because at a certain point, you stop getting low levels. And the only way to get more low levels is to stack some diamonds up. Okay, nothing there. Let's head... Actually, we need to go to these two, then we'll head down there. Hey, Alicia, how's it going? Good to see you. What do you think the next great one should be? I'd like an elk or a mule deer. That's like my top picks at the moment. You should grind for a super rare bighorn. That would be an interesting grind. I'd probably have to do that on Rancho because I wouldn't want to take down my bear grind. Why are level 7 red deer so big? It's because of the way the scoring system is. Their scoring system is very interesting, to say the least. So, there's a lot that look big but don't score very high because they have the wrong, like, configuration of, like, tines versus antler mass versus, like, beam length and stuff. It's a weird scoring system. I would recommend just looking at the true score on some of the level 7 red deer and then looking at the true score on some of the 8s and 9s and just comparing the differences on like what is scoring the most as they they have them scored kind of weird trotting I didn't see him grind for a melanistic fallow deer oh I've already got some melanistic fallow deer before our, uh, our great one fallow grinds have got us a few different mellas. We don't have a super rare mella yet, but we've got like a, a few like level three and four mellas. I think I have a four at least. I know for a fact I've got a three. But I might have a four as well. Five and six. Love to see it. Nice, Zacky. Yeah, that'll be fun. It'll probably make the grind easier as well. Because Emerald Coast, like, you really got to manage down that river to get the most out of your grind, I feel. That river is rough on Emerald Coast. I'm definitely going to be focusing managing that down for the Red Deer. Do you ever play multiplayer? I do sometimes, but unfortunately I can't play it as much as I used to. For a couple different reasons. Uh, the biggest reason is like if I stream multiplayer, I get followed by people. I get followed by cheaters a lot and my game just crashed. But yeah, I get followed by cheaters a lot whenever I try to do multiplayer streams. And multiplayer just crashes a lot more than it used to. So I don't really do multiplayer streams nowadays. It's unfortunate, but not too much I can do about it, sadly. It's just not as good of an experience as it used to be, because multiplayer is not as good as it used to be. What's the kill count? 2,535. 
Wow, Chip. You're on a roll today. You're on a roll today. Oh, man. Well, let's claim our Hunt Club beta. This is for rares or uncommons. Nice. All right, well, where were we? We kind of got a reset after that crash. Oh, gosh, Gage. Yeah, he does that. He does that, man. Um, Larry will always let you get him to about, like, 20 or 30, and then he'll take one more big run out. But the next time you reel him in, he should stay there. Like, he shouldn't run out again. I believe Larry only has, like, one big burst in him. Oh, they did, Johnny? They they ended up coming back a little bit then? Give you a diamond or rare to grind? How about... How about a diamond sandbar, dear Reese? Sandbar are pretty fun to hunt. They've got a lot of really awesome zones as well. Oh, geez, Johnny, that's wild. Who are they playing against? Are they playing against the Chiefs? Is that the, uh... Is that the the who the Chiefs were going against or what? I don't know because I haven't I don't pay attention to football, right? So I have no clue who they're facing. Cardinals, okay. Cardinals used to be very mediocre. I don't know if they're good nowadays, but they used to be so mediocre. What do I play on? I play on PC. All right, nothing there. Back over here we go. What gun slash ammo needs a buff? 6.5, easily. The 6.5 needs a buff really badly. Like the 6.5 is so underpowered compared to what it should be, in my personal opinion. I just feel like it's lacking in so many ways. We're on kind of a dry streak right now. We haven't had a nine in a while. Nice. Yeah, exactly, Johnny. Exactly. They need to give it something. Something to make it useful. I I wish it was useful because I really like the sound and the look of the 6.5. It's just not as powerful as a lot of the other 4 to 8 rifles. Like, I'd never use it for a grind. What is hunting pressure? It's this uh, purple stuff that shows up on the map. What lure do you say is good for diamonds in Norway? I mean, it depends on what you're going for. Every fish has different preferences. Will I play angler? Uh, we might at some point today. I'm not sure. I'm going to have an angler video likely tomorrow or the day after. I don't know if we're going to do a stream for it today. We will have to see how I feel after the bear grinding. Level six. Where's the nines, dude? been so long since we've had a level 9 show up. How are you still running? That's crazy. We got the toughest black bear in the west. I'm 25, cowboy. That's the one. Mm. 
Oh, we got other tracks up there. That's bear for sure. What are you, huh? 102 to 165. Okay, that's puny. That is a small male. How old's my daughter? She's uh, about to be two and a half in a couple of months. Level six. Nice, Merle. Nice, Reese. That's awesome, dude. Any tips on lure size for pike on Norway? Um, if you want to get like big silvers and above, use a size one jerk bait. Size one jerk bait works so good for them. Uh, size one popper is also good. If you want to go for golds and above only, use a one knot popper or jerk bait. Should get tons of pike. Uh, just note that if you're using the jerk bait, you will hook into salmon and trout as well. Another one bites the dust. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it. Oh, that's not too bad, Johnny. That'd be wild if they uh, had a good year. Yeah, Chip. <laughs> What was great one number 50? It was a fabled painted elk rack fallow deer. It was really sick. It was one of the uh, the Irish elk racks that was pointed upward more, so it looked really, really nice. It looked super clean. Mythical. Five. Five and a mythical. We got a five mythical. Nice. Oh, we got more tracks around here. Yeah, there's another bear that was here, but we just didn't see him. There was another bear here. Crazy. Hopefully we get him next run. How's the bear grind? It's going good, Samuel. It's It's been a lot better today and yesterday than it was the days before. Should they add ostriches to Savannah? That'd be cool. That'd be kind of interesting. I don't know uh I don't know how it would go, but it would be it would be cool. I mean there's already mule deer on uh on Rancho Vincent. They already have mule deer. But I do think whitetail would be good. Though... Er, yeah, we have whitetail as well. We have mule deer and whitetail. Fox could fit. They definitely could. Personally, I'd really like to see coos deer. I think coos deer is the thing I'd like to see most on Rancho. They're like a subspecies of the whitetail. And it's what Mexico is known for, so I don't know why they didn't do it. That's like one of the most popular things to hunt in Mexico is coos deer. 
just seems kind of strange they left them out. And they left the uh, the Audad sheep as well. They left those out. I feel like we need Audad and uh, Kustir. Now, is it pronounced Audad or Audad? Pretty sure it's pronounced Audad. Don't they generally get bigger than Whitetail too? No, I believe their antlers are smaller. I don't know about body size though. Body size might be bigger or smaller. Not 100% sure. But I know for a fact the antlers are smaller. What's a coos deer? It's a subspecies of the white-tailed deer. Can you catch the legendary fish more than once? Um, yes, but not in the same week. So, you catch the legendary fish, then whenever it rotates out to the next legendary fish, you can catch that one. And uh, so, like, let, let's say you're, you catch Goldstein, right? You cannot catch Goldstein again until he's in rotation again. So, one legendary per week per reserve, essentially. Ain't nothing else there. Back up, here we go. What's it look like? I mean, they just look like a smaller whitetail. Nice, Gage. Nice. That's awesome, man. Congrats on the big Larry catch. Five. Seven. Well, we've officially killed a hundred black bear today. We've officially killed 100, so we're getting about 50 an hour. Part of that's because we did take some time, like, checking other areas and moving tents. So, yeah, if we hadn't done that, we'd probably be at 60 an hour, I'd say. We're not doing too bad. We're doing okay. It could be better, but we're way better than we were at one point. Wow, Chip. Wow. Chip is just on fire with the puns today. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, uh, Chip is just on freaking fire. He's on freaking fire. What was the 50th great one? It was a fabled painted Irish elk rack fallow deer. Is there nothing over there? Oh, he's right there. That's why. That is such a unfortunate spot for him to go to. Because we're going to have to drive the ATV over there. He's away from our tent by quite a bit. Perfect. Hey Austin, how's it going, dude? Hey, Fallon, how's it going, dude? We'll 
six. That's from the one. Okay, nothing else there. I got a feeling there's some here then. There's got to be some over there. Ah, uh, we've been live for about two hours so far, Austin. Two hours as of now. Two hours of bear blasting. Anything good yet? Yeah, we got one level five blonde bear and then we got like four diamonds, I think. Around like four diamonds. Four-ish diamonds. Come on, pop into render. Let me see if there's big males there. Nope. Nothing there. Oh well, it is what it is. Nice, huh? Nice. No, Nightmare. That was that was kind of a joke that he was doing. It wasn't actually. He's he's part time right now. He's doing part time. Brober's at like 5,000 subs now or something. And he's doing like part-time work, part-time YouTube. Any tips on Rocky Mountain Elk? Uh, to be honest, it's been so long since I grinded them, like actually grinded them and paid attention to them that I don't really have too much tips I can give you. I would say go check some of the older videos that I did on Rocky Elk. Like the Rocky Elk videos from about one year ago are the most updated things I have on Rocky Elk. Because uh, the video I did today, I just kind of looked around lakes until I found those stacked ones that I had. Holy. Holy. How many diamonds today? I think like four-ish? Three or four? Somewhere in that range? I don't remember the exact number, but it's either three or four. And then we got one rare. Yeah, I think that's probably on your end, uh, Louisiana, because I don't have any dropped frames at all. Maybe try resetting the stream? That might help. I already said nice, uh, Todd. I said nice twice. You don't got to keep spamming it. You don't gotta keep spamming. I saw it. Uh, go for it, Hunter. What's your, uh, what's your question? My bears are being a little weird. They're kind of slow at the moment. Hunter, don't, don't, don't beg for handouts from people. That is like, why? 
Uh, don't don't come into a stream begging for people to give you stuff. What? <laughs> Go ask your parents. <laughs> It's such a weird thing to, to ask for. To go into a stream and be like, can I have a game? That is so strange. How many great ones do I have? We just hit 50 the other day. Yo, Flanky, what's up, dude? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good, Flanky. What do we got over here? Anything? Nothing. Yeah, my bears are being really weird. They all of a sudden got really slow. Yeah, it's been go so far, Flanky. Like, the bears have been behaving for the most part, except, like, all of a sudden they just got weird. Like, this last run or two, they've got a little bit weird, so I'm wondering what's going on. We'll have to see... There's a seven. Love to see it. There's a five. There's a seven. Yeah, pretty much, Flanky. Like, weird as in, like, they're not showing up as consistently as they were the whole stream. But, I mean, we had three here. So, that'd be... Yeah, we had, like, seven between all the lakes so far. That That's actually not too out of line of what we were getting. There should be one more, though. There should be one more up here. And then one more at the lower lakes. So we'll have to see if we get anything right here. There should be one there, because we're missing at least one. Any tips for Grey Wolves? I have not hunted them much recently, so no, I don't have any tips for Grey Wolves, sadly. I'd say if you're going to hunt Grey Wolves, go to Medved, because their drink time is early morning instead of in the middle of the night. That's probably the best tip I've got. Hunt Medved for sure. There's the missing bear. <laughs> just out of nowhere. That bear just shows up. Love to see it. Love to see it. Oh, there's that one. No, Megan, we're not going to do a lodge tour today. We're great one grinding today. Lodge tours are more for videos. 2176. Let's see if there's anything down here. We've killed like eight bears this run, I think. So there should be at least one more bear that we got to take down. How many kills in? 2,554. Way more than I hoped for. I wish, I wish this grind would just end. Give us a great one, please. Please give us a great one. It's been so long since I've seen a bear say 10 fabled. Three right there. Okay. Nothing down there. Should be one bear between these two legs down here. Fabled spirit in five kills. Oh my gosh. If I get a fabled spirit, I'll be so happy.
It's crazy to think that between my two grinds, I've killed 10,869 bears and I only have one great one bear. That's insane. Like, that is crazy numbers. If this was Whitetail, I'd have like six of them by now at least. The bears are just rude. The bears are just so rude. There's the three. He's the only one there as far as I can tell. Yeah, I hope this isn't another 8,000 kill grind. If it is, that's going to really suck. But it is what it is. At least the bears are being a little more consistent so I can kill more of them than I used to. That's at least good. But I would really appreciate it if they would start spawning faster. Because 8,300 kills and now 2,500 into grind number two, like, that's rough. That is rough regardless of what species you're hunting. That is rough numbers. That is super, super rough. Jackson, thank you for the super chat, dude. Killed a cinnamon brown bear today. Nice, dude. Nice. Thank you for the super chat once again. That's a five. That's a five. That's a five. Why couldn't you have been a five plus five? Five plus five would have been pretty sick. Imagine we spot a Baron instead of ten fabled. It says five plus five. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh my gosh, we found the five plus five quick maths bear. <laughs> Where will I grind for the Great One Red Deer? Uh, it says it in the pinned message. Emerald Coast. Another five. Hey, like I said, five plus five. That's two fives in a row. Logan, please stop spamming. That is so unnecessary. Um, I mean, I just said a bunch of side grinds as well, or like side goals, Alexander, like to set up side goals aside from the great one, like specific size of rare like a, a rare with a specific rack um, a certain size of diamond like do a bunch of side grind or like side goals with your grind as well that usually helps me out a lot what's well, considered a shootable level three fallow deer doing a grind um any fallow deer that'll score like 150 or above is one that i would shoot Essentially, if it looks much bigger than a two, I would shoot it. If it looks about the same size as a two, I would leave it. And obviously you can use the uh, score estimates to kind of figure out which ones you want to leave as well. Hopefully that helps. It's hard to like, uh, it's kind of hard to tell with Fallow unless you've seen the different racks a bunch. Then it gets easier trying to tell like which ones are smaller threes, which ones are larger threes. Nice, Mink. Nice. Yeah, hopefully it'll be helpful for you. Nice, Kevin. Nice. I still don't have a leucistic kangaroo. I don't have any of the rares at the moment. I got that albino in early access, but never got anything like even close to it in the live build. Welcome back, Dynamic. Welcome back, dude.
Is an albino bison good? Yes, that's really good. That is not an easy thing to come by. Okay, so we're getting a few bears being kind of delayed and late. So if I were to take a guess, I would imagine we've got a couple up here. I would imagine there's a couple of this late because it's been a bit since we've been there. What legendary fish is active this week? On Golden Ridge Reserve, it's Big Larry. On Troll Sport, it is Sir Henrik, which is the legendary Burbot. Oh, what the? There's a male. There's a male. Had a feeling there'd be one up here. Crazy. Do you have any tips for starting up whitetail ground on Leighton Lakes? Uh, yeah, that boy sloth. I've actually got a full guide on that. I would recommend checking out the herd management guides playlist that I've got here on the channel. One of the videos in there will be a whitetail video that shows a drop time great one whitetail on the thumbnail. That video has a guide in it as well. That should help you out. Nice little level four. Female. Female, okay. Let's go do a quick little time reset over here. Of course, Bear, I'm not going to stop anytime soon, man. Not going to stop anytime soon. What is the point of multiplayer hopping? Oh, uh, you just go to hot spots on every single one of the servers until you find a diamond, essentially. Like, there's certain parts of the map where there's more commonly animals and they're like easier to get to than others, right? And so you just go to like a bunch of different servers repeatedly at those locations until a diamond or a rare shows up. That's kind of what multiplayer hopping is. You just go on random multiplayer servers that typically you want to look for a server that has very minimal need zones discovered because that usually means it hasn't been searched. And then you'll just go to the hot spots, areas where you know there's tons of animals, and you just check all of them to see if there's any diamonds or rares. And then once you've checked all the hot spots, you leave the server and go to a new one. And you just keep doing that till you get diamonds and rares. I believe I've got a full guide on that as well. If you want to have like a further in-depth explanation of it. And I believe it's in the guides playlist as well. What's my favorite diamond? I really, really like the Rusadir diamond. It looks so good. Logan, why do you keep saying please, Crow? I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're saying please to. You spammed so much that I have no context of what you were spamming about because you completely like pushed it out of the chat box no we don't do shout outs we don't do shout outs especially when you beg for one that's not how you get shout outs being a contribution to the community or uh, helping people a lot or like being a consistent member of the channel that doesn't like break the rules all the time like those are ways to get like mentioned and stuff you don't spam to get a shout out that's like the complete opposite of what you would want to do to get one not how it works man and that goes for like every content creator out there for the majority of them at least spamming's not going to get you anything it just annoys people Dude, what's with all the low levels? 
What's with all the small males? We haven't had like a mythical or a nine in a while. Getting a lot of small male bears the last few runs. Pretty crazy. Hopefully that means great one or something. Bambo, thank you for the six months, dude. Much appreciated. There we go. Another bear down. A great one is coming. I hope so, dude. And I pass that one. You know, we'll just fast travel back to it. That'll be easier. That'll be easier for sure. If I could click properly, that'd be great. There we go. There we go. Later, Astro. Anybody know a really good lake for the Tiabaroa map? Uh, it depends on the species you're trying to hunt. Every species is going to have like different lakes that are really good for them. They should add Puma to Layton because they have those multi mounts of the black tail and rose yell. I, I agree, Reese. We actually talked about that earlier in the stream. How it'd be cool to see mountain lions up in the actual mountains of Layton Lakes. And they could call them cougars instead because that's kind of what we call them around here in Oregon. And Layton is based in Washington, which is really close to Oregon. Was that brown? Could have been. We'll check the codex just to make sure. No, it was dark. It was dark. No brown fur type in there. Come on, little bears. Show me the great one. What's up with my bears? They're so late. They're so late to their zones. I don't know what's going on. They were so consistent for a long, long time, and now they're being really weird. Now they're being super, super weird. I also noticed a couple of our female bears that we were shooting are missing. They're no longer going to, like, the lakes that we've been hunting. Did they move to some of the other lakes? They might have. I just realized that, like, we haven't shot a female bear in a while. We haven't seen one either in a while. Aside from like the lake where I've been stacking them. Nothing at this lake. A lot of weirdness going on with our bears. Oh, that's wild, Trader. I didn't know that. That's cool though. That's definitely cool. You know, at this point... With how uh, weird our bears are being, even though we've, like, got them to be more consistent. I might start that red deer grind before we get our next bear. Just so I can get a, a break. Get something different going. Because I feel like there's only so much more days of just bear grinding that I can do before I go insane. There's a six. There's another bear right there. Finally found another bear. <gasps> oh, there's a nine. That estimate's not good, though. That is not a good estimate. Oh, no. He's also fleeing. That estimate is really bad. 20 to 22. I don't think I've ever seen an estimate that bad before. It still could make it because it could score clear up to 22.99. And 22.80 is diamond. So it still has a chance. It's just a very poor chance. 
Also, I have not seen two uh, male bears here in literally over a year. That's crazy. Great one number 50 was a fallow deer fishing gamer. It was a fallow deer with the fabled painted in the Irish L crack. Where'd the nine go? He was running up here, but how far did he go? We might have to get him next run. We'll see though. We'll keep an eye out. See if we can spot him. Anything? Nope. What's my favorite great one? The moose for sure. The moose is just so beautiful and amazing to hunt. Oh, there we go. That's vitals. Let's go. We got him. We got him. Level nine down. That was wild. He just popped up out of nowhere. How rare is a black gold wild hog? Uh, not rare. Black gold wild hogs are not rare. Um, wild boar black gold would be rare though, but not for the wild hogs or the feral pigs. It's a troll. It's not guaranteed to be a troll. No, it's not guaranteed. It could be clear up to 22.99 because uh, they can score clear up to the top decimal. So it has a chance of being a diamond. It is very likely a troll, but there is still a chance of being a diamond. No, I didn't say it would be a bear, J-Dog. I said I'd like it to be one, but I didn't say it would be. It's a diamond. Told you guys. Told you it had a chance. It made it. Let's go. Diamond bear. That is awesome. We actually got another diamond. We, we were on quite a dry streak, so this is nice. This is good to get. That's what I'm saying. Like, it was a 20 to 22 estimate. It can technically score clear up to 22.99, and it scored 22.92. That's got to be the lowest score estimate diamond bear I've ever killed. That's actually pretty crazy. Love to see it. Love to see the diamond bears. I believe Dalton. Keep going, man. You'll get it eventually. Just keep blasting. Doan, what's up, dude? Hope you're doing good. Nice, John. Nice. How many kills a run should I get for Fallow HM? I like to get around like 10 to 12, but like anywhere from like 10 to 15 would be like a, a sweet spot. The more you can get with still like having your HM popping diamonds pretty quickly is, is about what you would want to go for, right? If that makes sense. Probably doesn't make sense. We need to shoot this six down to a three or below. I think he's the last one here, aside from that four. What's the first DLC pack to buy for the angler getting ready to install? Uh, currently there's only one DLC pack that's purchasable if I'm not mistaken. I believe for the angler it's just Norway. I think Norway is the only paid DLC for the angler as of now. And it's a really good map as well. It is so much fun. I've been playing it a lot the last couple of days and I'm having so much fun on it. Like I took quite a big break from playing on Norway to catch all the new fish on Golden Ridge. But like getting back into some Norway fishing, it's been a lot of fun. It's a great map. It's a really good map. Yeah, for real, Johnny. Hopefully we get the new map soon. They made it sound like it would be decently soon, so... 
Hopefully we get a new map for the angler super super quick. Okay. Maybe this is where our female bear has gone. Let's kill this. Let's kill that female bear there. You know what I just thought of as well? Once we shoot down this zone, we're going to free up five different tents. Oh my gosh, that would be so nice. Then we could manage down some of the other areas. That would actually be literally the best thing that could happen to us if we can just manage these down. That would be so good for our grind. Why did I kill it? Because I'm trying to like see if killing that female gets stuff moving around again. Because the second these bears started getting a little more inconsistent was when I stopped shooting a female here and there. Seven there. Like, look at this. We only got one bear here. And the only thing that I can think of that we did different was the two females that I was shooting stopped respawning at these lakes up here. And then all of a sudden everything got inconsistent. Probably doesn't mean anything, but you know, I'll take any chance that I can get. When's the last time I main menued? Like two runs ago. Like maybe two or three runs. It hasn't been that long. I've gone way longer than this without main menuing with the bears and been fine, so. In fact, usually I'll go like four or five runs before I main menu. They're just acting a little bit strange. How long have I been playing the game? I've been playing it since it first came out. Technically a little bit longer even because I was playing it in the closed beta they had a while back. In December of 2016. I took quite a big break from it, though, uh, a couple months after re after uh, release. I tried to say release and launch at the same time, and it almost came out relaunch. Good old relaunch, man. Another mythical down. Love to see it. Getting some big males now. Yeah, I've been playing the game for a while. I didn't play it super seriously during the first, like, year or two, but... Once they released, like, the trophy lodges and the true rack system, like, that's when I really got into the game again. Imagine a max weight, max score, albino, diamond, bobwhite, quail. That would be the ultimate trophy. Like, it'd be impossible to top that almost. That'd be one of the rarest things in the game. The only thing that could really beat it would be a ultra rare Great One Whitetail. Twenty-one forty-four. All right. As much as I don't want to, I gotta hit up the restroom like immediately, guys. I'll be back in like two minutes, probably a little bit less even. Y'all better not try to trick me and tell me there's a great one walking in front of me. I'm gonna look straight at the ground so you can't try to pull that prank anymore. Boom.
Elite Marble, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channel, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. Um, no, somebody posted a Diamond Bob White uh, albino quail. I don't know if it was confirmed to be legit or not, Zaki, but... I think it was shortly after the release of New England, somebody posted one. To be fair, though, we gotta also think that... There's a very high chance that the reason that there's less albino diamond quail being found than ultra rare white tail is because nobody hunts the quail. The actual odds of getting one is probably higher than a ultra rare white tail, but nobody goes for the quail, so we're not going to see them. It's just like with great one white tail, like great one white tail used to be almost impossible to get. Rancho comes out and now everybody was grinding for white tail and you start seeing a lot of great ones show up. Just a matter of like the volume of people that are going for them. Not really anybody hunts for quail. I'd say there's probably like three or four times more people that hunt for whitetail than uh, than they do quail. Actually, probably more. There's probably at least ten times the amount of whitetail great one grinders than there is bob white quail hunters in this game. Nobody really gr grinds uh, quail. It's not a super popular thing. What would be your goal for the Red Deer Grind on Emerald since you already have every rack? Uh, I just like to get a few of them because I want to see them in the Australian Outback. I just think it would be really cool to see them. There's the five. You're almost a low enough level to leave, but not quite, bro. Not quite, man. What's an ultra rare? It is a rare great one. A great one with a rare fur type is an ultra rare. Currently, only the white tailed deer can have that. I think it's time to start turning this four into a three or a two. I think it's time because there's only one other male around here and it's that five that we just shot. Where did he go? There's his blood. There he went. Yeah, it's hard to say, Zachy. You know, maybe I'll have to, maybe I'll have to do like a a side grind for an albino quail just so I can be one of the first people to get one that's legit. That'd be pretty crazy if I could get an albino quail. Like, holy. That would be insanity. It'd probably take a while, but I think it'd be worth it. I think it could be worth it. I didn't have that reload animation. You gotta use the lightning hand perks. The Lightning Hands perk, which I believe is in handguns. Yeah, Lightning Hands right here. Use that. It'll give you different reloads because you're reloading faster, so it has to change the animation to, to make it quicker and not look weird. That's pretty wild, Zaki. That, that's pretty wild. Oh, true dynamic. I, I could see that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a female there and a seven. We're still not getting a lot of, uh, we were getting four males here very consistently. Now we're not. They must be showing up at different lakes. They gotta be. They gotta be showing up at different lakes. Uh, sounds about right. Typical, uh, typical mountain lions, Ronnie. Are largemouth bass a common diamond? No, definitely not. Largemouth seem decently difficult. I'd say a common diamond is the lake trout. If you have the gear to go for them, they seem to be diamond more often. 
if you go to the Diamond Lake Trout hotspot that I've got a guide on, um, that area provides diamonds super, super often. See, now the females are showing up. I only shot one female from those other lakes, and now two of them are at these lakes. I feel like they might that might have been why my bears are being weird is because I wasn't shooting the females anymore. Well, it's not a fast thing, Marvel. That area is for like good lake trout. It's for like big lake trout, but you're not gonna catch them a lot if you're using that like diamond and gold setup because you're only gonna be attracting the diamonds and golds. So like you're essentially sacrificing quantity for quality. That's the thing about uh, the angler, like diamonds and golds, they're not easy no matter what you're going for. It's never going to be easy to get them. There's just somewhere it's a little bit easier and you can use setups that will only target gold and above, but you're going to catch a lot less fish using those and it's going to take a lot longer. Uh, so for example, like getting a bite on that setup takes me like half an hour usually for lake trout. I'll spend like maybe 30 minutes before I hook into a gold or a diamond on most of the times that I go there. But like when I do hook into something, it's going to be a big one because of the uh, the lure that I'm using. Because of the size of the hook on it. And sometimes you'll go there and not really catch anything. Other times you'll go there and catch a lot of them. It's going to be different every time you go because of the, uh, the way the game works in like spawning fish. It seems like it's a new population every time you go there as far as we can tell. What's the best size lure for quantity? Oh yeah, exactly what Johnny said, like a size two, a size one. You'll catch a lot of silvers, and then like you, you'll you still have the chance of catching the golds or diamonds. It's just that, you know, in between the golds and diamonds, you'll catch some silvers as well. So yeah, like a size two or a size one is great. Yo, Nicholas, what's up, man? Hope you're doing good. No, I didn't notice that, Zachy. I did not notice. I, I haven't really been paying attention to it. That's interesting if they did. Great one yet? Nope. No great one today. We're at 2,576 kills. Thank you, Ross. Appreciate it, dude. Jeez, Johnny, that's wild. Yeah, that's the thing about it, right? Like, you'll still get the diamonds on the smaller stuff. You'll just catch a lot of other stuff in between. Oh, unfortunate, Nicholas. You having trouble with the uh, with some of the missions or what? Because I know a lot of people have had trouble with some of the uh, some of the missions for like goldfish. Well, let's go check here. You seriously regret buying the game? Why, uh, Colonel Mustard? Why? Was it not what you expected it to be? Because I found that a lot of the problems people run into are just easily, like, worked around. Just by, like, taking time to, like, learn the different systems in the game. Oh, it was great 150. It was a fallow deer, lone wolf. It was a beautiful, uh, fabled, painted Irish elk rack. Okay, 
no males there. Can't equip my pull in the tutorial. You should be able to. There should be nothing that's stopping you. Did you like follow all the instructions on screen? Because I did a... Oh, that's a level nine. That's a level nine. I've done a tutorial on the first few like missions and getting started and everything. Did you follow like uh, the same stuff that I did in that? I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I've got a guide for like the first 10 levels doing Taylor's Tackle Academy, etc. Combination of reels, rods, lines, lure hook to be overwhelming and not very beginner friendly. Got you. Got you. Well, if it helps, like the, the best way to figure out what to use is in terms of like lures, every fish in the journal or actually I think it's the handbook. Every fish in the handbook kind of explains like what you can use on them. It'll tell you like what they're attracted to. Um, what they're most attracted to is, etc. And that can kind of help you with lure choice. Also, Brobra has a ton of guides on, like, individual fish species as well. Um, it's one of those things where it, it can be overwhelming at first, but once you've actually, like, got used to how everything works in the game, it becomes a lot easier. And that's a diamond. Boom. Diamond bear. Let's go. Oh, you definitely should, Marble. Just do... Just let it sink to the bottom. And do the jigging technique. And then just reel in on a one speed. One speed with jigging. Try to keep it near the bottom as much as you can. Whatever you do, don't stop the jigging technique. Just keep jigging the whole time. You will definitely catch Lake Trout. It would be pretty tough not to catch some if you're, if you're doing the jigging technique the whole time. Can I do a great one grind in their feed zones? I don't think I'd ever do that for bears. Potentially for another species maybe at some point, but it's not something I'll do in the near future. Because it's just a lot of extra work to hunt feed zones. Because, like, uh, there's a lot more searching involved. They're not guaranteed to be in specific spots. Another male. What the... It's another legendary. It's another legendary. What the? Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> of course this lake is where they'd be. Of course they'd all be up here. No wonder my bears have been weird. There was two nines up at this lake. Oh my gosh. I hate this lake so much. I really do. Ah, it's a troll. It's a troll. That was a great shot though. A great running shot. But it trolled us. Feels bad. But yeah, that's, that's probably the best shot we've had all day. I'd say that was our best shot of the day easily. Um, sometime within the next few days, Springy. I don't know the exact day, but it'll be within the next few. Two nines and a mythical at this lake. Are you kidding me? <laughs> all the biggins were up here. Sheesh, that's crazy. Um, he probably was disconnected from the server without being kicked from it, database. Uh, there's times where you can lose connection without getting kicked from it, and it'll make it so you can't claim anything. That's probably what happened there. Nice, Sharksy, nice. Congrats, man. Bubba Bear, thank you for the super chat, dude. Just got my first ever super rare after 165 moose. Nice, that is awesome. What fur type was it? <laughs> yes, that's the, oh my god. There's the three. What's my favorite fur type for the moose? I like the fabled birch. Fabled Birch and then Fabled Two-Tone's a nice close second, I'd say. 
Then probably Fabled Speckled. Then Fabled Spruce. Then Fabled Oak. Then Fabled Ashen. I think that's my current uh, ranking of them. It's changed a few times over the time that it's been out yet. I don't know why I said yet at the end of that sentence. That makes no sense. And Scarecrow makes sense? No. Oh, I know why. It's because I read Johnny's message saying, is your duck game cured yet? That's what it is. So I added yet to the end of my sentence. Oh, got you, Nicholas. Do you have Xbox Live? Because I know it requires Xbox Live to play multiplayer on Xbox. Um, if you do have Xbox Live, I don't know why it's not letting you. It should. Now my bears are here. Holy, smoking them. Oh, it's a pie ball. Nice. Nice. Love to see it. What was the most recent? Great one. It was a fallow deer fabled painted Irish elk rack. A really uh, beautiful combo. Hey, Hudson. How's it going? Hope you're good. Oh, got you, Nicholas. Yeah, that is weird. That is really strange. Um, I'm assuming you've already checked your settings to make sure that multiplayer is enabled and to make sure that cross-platform is also enabled. If you've already done that, then I don't know what could be... I don't know what could be preventing you from being able to play multiplayer. That's definitely strange. Mythical again. Holy crap. There's so many big males. So many mythicals and legendaries this run. Or these last two runs. So many of them. All the big males. I'm going to real quickly do a time reset and see if we can get some to show up here. I'm going to see if I can do that trick that we do on like the moose and the whitetail and the fallow. Where we just time reset spam until they show up. Let's see if it works for the bears. Nothing there. But you know, it could just be that there is no bears there this run. You know, that that could be it. So I won't uh, I won't judge them yet. Uh, probably not dynamic. Probably not an angler stream, but I might, uh, I might play a little bit off stream to try and get some stuff for videos. Because I'm going to be releasing another angler video probably tomorrow, and then I think a Call of the Wild one the next day. I think that's what I'll do. I think tomorrow I'll do a video on the angler. Because uh, I recorded video yesterday with Brobra fishing for Chub on Norway, and I got a ton of big males ton of big male chubs so it's gonna be a loaded video and it'll show off a bunch of the uh, diamond locations for chub a four you're not in the uh, zone I need you to be in though and you're not a three Mr. Four, could you be like a three in like a different zone and then that would be like great or something, you know? You silly bear. So essentially I just told him to be something completely different than what he is. 
Oh no, Zacky. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. You know what happens though? You gotta get through the trolls to get the diamonds. How do I buy new weapons? Uh, very new, sorry. Um, I will show you real quick. Once I get done with this lake right here, actually, I should be able to show you from this outpost. You go to the outpost, right? You click access cache and then make sure you're in the store tab. And right here in new rifles, it'll show you like the rifles and stuff. If you have purchased DLCs, there will be more rifles available. But uh, if you haven't purchased any of the DLCs, it should just be stuff like the 270, 223, 338 single shot, um, 7mm single shot, etc. And the way that you unlock more rifles is by killing animals with rifles. So, killing animals with rifles will give you rifle score. And that rifle score will unlock new weapons and ammunition. My gosh, so many bears, holy. So many. He stood up as I shot. Oh, no. Oh, we got vitals. Wow. That's actually kind of nuts. That's kind of wild. We actually got that shot. Can eight mythicals be diamonds? Technically, yes. But nobody's ever killed one, so... I wouldn't get your hopes up. For a uh, eight making it. According to Jaxy Beard. He said that any animal can make diamond one level above max, but for some it's so rare that it's never happened. Uh, black bear are one of those animals where it's never happened before, so it, technically it's possible, but it's unlikely it will ever happen. If that makes sense. It's just very, very, very absurdly rare. Sam, thank you for the 16 months, dude. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Hey, Austin, how's it going, dude? Oh, later, Austin. Thank you for dropping in. Sorry, I didn't see it until just now. There's more bears. No way, there was another bear. There was five bears at this lake, and we, we saw four of them. We didn't get the last one, though. Crazy, that's so many bears. All right, guys, I think I'm all bared out for the day, so we're going to go ahead and end the stream there. Three hours of bear smoking. We managed to kill, like, about 143 bears, so not bad. I'll take it. Could have been better, but we were kind of chasing them around a little bit, so it makes sense that it would be a little slower than what I was hoping for. But thank you all so much for watching. We will be back um, tomorrow with some more grinding. And uh, until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.